Hey, thanks for joining us for this week's God as CEO Midweek Encourager. We're here to encourage you, equip you, and energize you to bring glory to God in all of your work. Have you noticed that we still have peer pressure even when we're not in middle school anymore? I don't know about you, but middle school can be some rough years. I remember getting stuffed in lockers, teased, etc. We don't have to relive those experiences. But you're thinking, oh, when middle school's done, I won't have peer pressure anymore. And then all of a sudden, wow, there's peer pressure at every age. Not only is there peer pressure always, there's also problems all around us. Every single one of us experiences problems consistently. That might be internal problems, physical health, emotional, mental. It might be external problems, the economy, uh, relational challenges, whatever it might be. There's going to be problems throughout all of life, and there's going to be peer pressure throughout all of life. And also maybe you are thinking, I thought this was an encouraging video. Well, today I wanted to encourage you to do something so that peer pressure isn't controlling you and problems aren't destroying you. Today I wanted to encourage you to discover your God-given purpose. You see, if you don't discover your God-given purpose, peer pressure will control you, control you and problems will destroy you. When you don't discern your God-given purpose, what you're doing is you're living for the approval of everyone around you. They're going to direct you, they're going to guide you, and they're constantly changing. If you don't discern your God-given purpose, the problems that happen within you and around you, they're going to discourage you. They're going to give you constant doubt. But when you discern your God-given purpose, you're going to have energy. Why? Because God gives power to accomplish God's purposes. So when you discern your God-given purpose, you're also going to find God-given energy. So how do you discern your God-given purpose? I want to encourage you today to find someone that you can bring alongside of you, someone that knows you. Ask them, hey, what abilities do you see that I have? What experiences do you see that I have that can benefit others? And use that to help discern what is your God-given purposes. Why did God give you this business? Why did God give you this role at this company? Why did God give you uh, these opportunities in your personal life? Discern those things and clarify your God-given purpose. In Colossians chapter 1, we hear the Apostle Paul sharing something personally. He says this in Colossians 1.24, Now I rejoice in what I am suffering for you, and I, still, and I fill up in my flesh what is still lacking in regards to Christ's afflictions, for the sake of his body, which is the church. I have become its servant by the commission God gave me to present to you the word of God in its fullness. The Apostle Paul saying, Hey, I'm struggling. There's problems within me. There's problems around me. I'm suffering. But then he goes on to say, hey, I've been given a mission. He's been commissioned by God for the church. The Apostle Paul was under constant peer pressure. He says in Galatians chapter 1 in one place, he says, Do I live for your approval or do I live for the approval of God? The religious leaders were constantly pressuring him to adjust his message. Governing officials were constantly pressuring him to adjust his message. But the Apostle Paul discerned his God-given purpose to proclaim God's word in its fullness. And you see, when the Apostle Paul discerned his God-given purpose, here's what happens. At the end of Colossians chapter 1, he says this, to this end, I strenuously contend with all the energy Christ so powerfully works inside me. To this end, I strenuously contend with all the energy that God has put within me. The Apostle Paul, what does he find? He finds that he's energized within him, that he's being moved by God to live out this purpose. You and I today, we need to discern the purpose that God has given to us. If we do not discern that purpose, we will be controlled by peer pressure and we'll be destroyed by problems. But God gives power for his purposes to be accomplished. So maybe for your business, if you're a business owner, have you discerned the purpose of your business? Are you constantly being swayed all over? What about your role in your company? Have you discerned what is your role? So you know what to say no to, and you can plow deep into what God has created you to do. How about personally? You've got all these volunteer opportunities, all these requests for donations. Have you discerned your purpose? Are you just flying with peer pressure? and struggling with problems. I want to encourage you today to discern God's purpose for you. God has created you. God has given you the gift of the Holy Spirit, giving you unique gifts and abilities, and it's time to discern what is God's purpose for you in your business and throughout all of your life. And so today, discern God's purpose so you're not controlled by peer pressure or destroyed by problems. Have a great week, everyone.